right, everyone. I am going to start out this week's What's for Dinner, and I am going to make Erica's Chicken Cordon Bleu. It's from her recipe. I will link her recipe book down below. It's an ebook. It's only $12. Really, really good investment. I have made four recipes of hers, and it all has turned out absolutely amazing. Um, so I highly recommend that you get that recipe book. And I usually half the recipes. Um, one of my daughters has moved out, so we are only a family of three right now. So um, I have been halving the recipes and that has been absolutely perfect. So I'm not gonna share the quantities that I am using for this recipe, um, just because obviously she has worked hard to put together these recipes and I don't want to um, share her measurements and everything like that. Um, so I encourage you to go and get the cookbook below, but I will be telling you what I put in here. So. I pre-cooked some chicken. I will show you that in a minute. Um, but this is going to be for the sauce and it's gonna be all in a blender. So we are going to take some cream cheese. Some butter. some chicken broth, some mustard, some garlic, Ooh, that was quite a bit. I like things garlicky, so hopefully that'll still be all right. And a little bit of dry wine. some pepper and also an egg all right so this is the chicken that i had cooked already um you can also use a rotisserie chicken i just had actually some chicken breasts on hand and I'm just putting some ham over top of this mixture of chicken. And the chicken I just did in the frying pan, um, I just put a few spices in it as well too. So I'm just going to put all of this ham and kind of spread it out over top of the chicken. All right, there we go, that is pretty even. Now we are going to take our mixture that we did up in the blender and pour that over top. Perfect. Then we are going to put some Swiss cheese over top and put it in the oven. There we go. The thing I like about all of, one sec. So the one thing that I like about Erica's cookbook is it's all so simple and it's ingredients that you're gonna have on hand. So it's just really, really easy and simple. It doesn't take a long time to make. It doesn't take a million ingredients to have and it's simple and easy. It's something that you can make at home after you come home from work and have ready supper ready in an hour. So that's what I like. So we'll see how it turns out. All right, so I just made myself a side dish to go with that and I just made up some cauliflower rice. This is the cauliflower rice from Costco. It's not too, too bad. I feel like I need to have it on a high heat at first though, because it does have a lot of liquid. Um, so I put it on high for a little while to burn off all the liquid. And then I just add a little bit of cream cheese and some shredded cheese as well. And sometimes I add bacon bits. I don't have any ready, so I'm going to leave that out. But this is going to be my cauliflower rice that I'm gonna have as a side. I made regular rice for the family. This is the chicken cordon bleu casserole right out of the oven. It looks absolutely delicious. It smells amazing as well too. And then as a side for the family, I just have some peas here. 
and I think we are ready to go. So let's plate it all up. All right, you guys, this is the final plate. It looks absolutely delicious. I can't wait to try it. And like I said, I highly recommend you guys um, giving Erica's cookbook a try. Such good and easy recipes, like I've said many a times, but really like supper can be served within an hour. It's absolutely fantastic. So let's give this a taste. All right, this is probably gonna be hot, but I'm just gonna give it a quick, quick taste here. I'm gonna grab some ham, cheese, and some of the chicken. Looks delicious, you guys. Like, it looks so good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, man. It is really good, you guys. Give it a try. It's so good. Just with the mixture of the sauce with it all, it's absolutely delicious, you guys. So make sure you give that a try. So this is Sunday's What's for Dinner, you guys. Well, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, you guys, it is Monday and Monday night, what's for dinner? I have already started preparing it and it's already done. I was hoping to maybe have leftovers today for lunch from last night's dinner that you guys seen. I made it out of Erica's cookbook and it's all gone. <laughs> my husband and my daughter ended up eating the rest of it. They had it for supper last night. They had it for lunch today. They liked it that much. So I'm definitely going to make the whole recipe next time. I'm not going to half it. I'm actually going to use the whole entire recipe and make a full 9 by 13 pan because it was a favorite here. So thank you, Erica, for that recipe. My family absolutely loved it. Easy and simple. I love it. So tonight for supper, I made crepiti. I think it's crepini. I buy them crepiti, the egg thins that I buy from Costco. So I will share with you guys that recipe. I also will link it down below. Really, really easy. And it tastes just like the real thing, real lasagna, you guys. So let's get started. All right, you guys, I am going to get started on supper. It's about four o'clock. And I just thought if I could get this all done and prepped, then I can just throw it in the oven when I'm ready to eat it. Aries. So um, we are hunters. If you're new here, we do hunting and we do our own butchering. So for the most part, we have um, elk or deer meat. So I put a little bit of oil on the bottom of this and I'm just frying up some of this in order to put with our crepini lasagna, you guys. That is what I'm making for supper. I have seen this recipe. I have tried it before. It is absolutely amazing. It tastes like real lasagna no word of a lie and this is what i'm talking about so this is the crepini egg wraps i get these at costco i forget how much they are there is 14 wraps in here and look at the macros for these you guys they are absolutely amazing for one wrap is 1.5 grams of fat zero carbs and three grams of protein so in this recipe i think i use about eight um and it's so good. I'm going to make two servings of this, actually, just so that I have leftovers. I am going to be use, using the Rayo's marinara sauce. Um, I get this at Costco as well. My Costco finally started selling it. And it is five net carbs for a half a cup. So there's that. That's a pretty low-carb option. And these are just the two dishes that I am going to put in the oven. Um, I'm not even sure how much they have... Here. I think it's I want to say it's like two cups but I'm thinking that this will be a serving for each and these are oven safe as well too so that is what I'm going to be making the carpini lasagna in I will link this recipe down below you guys like I've said I've tried it before and it is absolutely amazing tasteless like taste just like the real thing so let's get started all right I am going to make the cheese because um, you do use a uh, ricotta cheese in this recipe so you mix it with an egg and some cheese just so that it stays just so that it stays all together so I'm just going to lightly beat one egg and I'm going to put about a half a cup of the ricotta cheese in with this mixture
All right, that's about a half a cup. Then I'm going to put some shredded cheese. Now this recipe calls for grated Parmesan. I don't have any right now, so I'm just going to put some of this in with the mixture. I would say that's probably maybe about a quarter of a cup. And then we will be putting shredded cheese as well in between the layers because this is a lasagna, right? All right, so let's mix it up. Make sure that is all well combined. All right, there's our mixture, and let's start assembling our lasagna. Put our cheese mixture to the side, and I am making two, which I'm gonna use um, eight per thing. So I have two here, because I'm gonna double up. Each layer will have two of the egg fins, all right? So I'm just going to make these to size. So this is what I'm gonna do for that. I'm just gonna put the bowl that I'm using, and I'm just gonna cut around it, and then I will save the pieces that I don't use. Um, I can always do something with them. I'm not sure exactly what, but hopefully I'll be able to use them for something. So what we're gonna do is we are just going to layer. So I'm going to, these are the same size um, thing. So I'm actually going to cut all my egg thins first. Put your body on the kitchen table And move the dishes to the side uh, yeah. Girl, you always tend to drive me crazy Looking at me with those eyes uh, Put some music on Turn the lights down low Throw the pillows off the bed Throw the candles out All right, I also wanted to say, you guys, these freeze really, really good. I actually froze this package that I'm using right now and it froze fantastic. So I am going to start layering. I'm going to put the egg fin first. And then you guys had seen I made the mixture. Um, I put, it was about a little more than a half a cup for this whole entire thing for the meat sauce. So that's pretty good. It'll be even lower in carbs per serving. So I'm just going to use a scoop and I'm just going to scoop this on that. Using the scoop is about a half a cup, so there we go. And I'm going to put some of the sauce, sorry, the, the cheese sauce that we made, put a little bit of that. Go and put some shredded cheese. I'm just putting like a little handful, probably like an eighth of a cup. And then we will repeat with each layer, you guys, and hopefully I will get three or four layers out of each. So let's continue making both of those. If you got something on your mind, I'm gonna try to help you let it go. You got, you got. All right, you guys, that is all assembled. I did use um, eight per container um, because I did four layers. And to be honest, I think this is gonna, I think I might have to freeze one because these look pretty heavy. Um, I think I'll only be able to eat half of one maybe for a serving. Um, but man, these are so good. I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put extra cheese on top because this is my final um, layer. So I always like putting a little extra cheese on the top. All right, you guys, and then that is it. Really, really simple and easy. We will be putting it in a 425 degree oven and we will check on it probably in about 20 minutes or so. I should also mention that we need to cover these with foil for each one of them as well too. So we'll keep them covered for about 20 minutes and then we will check on them and we will take the tin foil off and then cook them for an additional 10 minutes. All 
All right, let's put these in the oven, you guys. So if you're missing lasagna, I promise you, you guys, this is gonna taste just like the real thing. All right, you guys, we are ready to take the lasagna out of the oven. Oh my gosh, this looks absolutely amazing, you guys. So I left it in there 10 minutes uncovered and they turned out absolutely perfect, you guys. So I will see how much I eat at supper time. I'm actually going to try for half of one and I created a recipe on my fitness pal. So I highly recommend you guys use either Carb Manager, I think it's called, or MyFitnessPal. You can create recipes on those apps and then you can get the accurate amount of net carbs and calories for your macros in order to stay on track. I'm gonna let these cool and sit for a while and then we will serve up a portion for supper. And I'm also going to have with it my diet cranberry ginger ale. I get these at the dollar store. Actually, I think it's the, for $1.25, they are so good. I'm addicted to them. I can't find them in a case anywhere yet, but I just kind of stock up on them at the dollar store. They're so good. So that is what's going to be for dinner tonight, you guys. All right, you guys, it is Tuesday. And for supper, I am going to make the TikTok Beta Tomato Pasta, but I'm gonna make it keto. So I started, I put some olive oil at the bottom of this little casserole dish. It's a nine by nine. I'm just gonna make this for myself because I have a feeling that my family won't like it. Um, but I put some of the cherry tomatoes in and now I'm going to put my little block of feta cheese. All right, put the feta cheese there. I'm gonna put some garlic. And I'm also gonna put some basil as well too. All right, and then we are gonna put a little bit of olive oil on top of that as well. There we go. And then I'm gonna put it in a 400 degree oven for 30 minutes. All right, for the pasta, I am going to use this new pasta. I really like this kind. The only thing is, is you have to rinse it very, very good. So I have rinsed it there. I rinse it probably for about a minute. I get my hand in there and really rinse it good. And these are the macros for one whole package. It's 25 calories, one fat, six carbs, five, sorry, six carbs, six fiber, which is zero net carbs. And it is one gram of protein. So really, really good macros and it is filling. So. If you guys see this kind, make sure you grab some and give it a try at least, but make sure that you rinse it very good. And what I'll do is I will put this in a frying pan with a little bit of olive oil just to kind of saute it a little bit before I mix it with my feta and tomato mixture. All right, so I just took this out of the oven and I'm just gonna mix it all together, which I've already started doing. So that is ready and I just started heating up um, a frying pan and I am going to put my noodles in here as well and my daughter wanted to try it so I'm just making some penne pasta to mix with hers. So let's dump our noodles in, dump our noodles in the olive oil in a pan and we will just kind of saute that up for a few minutes. All right, and then I just put the mixture of the feta cheese and the tomatoes in with this, and I'm just going to stir that up for a couple minutes. All right, you guys, this looks really good. I'm gonna have a little bit for tonight for supper, and then I'm gonna have a serving for tomorrow, and that will be Wednesday's supper as well, too. So it's gonna be for Tuesday and Wednesday's dinner. All right, I am going to taste this and see how it is. The true taste test. Mmm. That's actually pretty good. I feel like it I could add some cream cheese with it to be honest. 
I think a little bit of cream cheese would make it a little bit more creamy. It is pretty good. All right, you guys, it is Wednesday. And for tonight, what's for dinner? I'm actually taking my dinner with me because I do work two until 8.30. So let me share with what I'm eating for dinner tonight, you guys. I'm sorry about the light as well too. It's kind of bad lighting right now. I'm just getting ready to leave to go to work. So let me show you what I'm gonna be having tonight for dinner at work. All right, so Wednesday night's dinner, I am having the leftover feta and tomato pasta with the zero calorie noodles. Well, actually they're not zero calorie, but they are zero net carbs. And I also took some meat and cheese. I had some little pepperonis as well as the cheese that I get from Costco. And I cut up some cucumbers that I am going to take with me and have as well. And then for dessert, I am going to be having these Built Bites. These ones are the white chocolate cherry sundae ones. And I'm going to be having two of those. So that is going to be what's for dinner on Wednesday night.